everybody. Hello, dear learners. Hello, dear parents. Okay. Uh, nice to be here today with you to present you a lesson about essay writing. My name is Mrs. Job Maggett Gay. I am a teacher of English from Kennedy I High School. Okay. Our lesson today will be about how to write an argumentative essay. Right. Now, my question is, what is an argumentative essay. So can you give me a definition of an argumentative essay? Good. Okay. So let's try. Aida? Yes? Your answer? Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. Modu? Yes? Your answer? Yes? Excellent. Okay. And what is an argumentative essay? So an argumentative essay is a type of essay that presents arguments about both sides of an issue. Okay, both sides, this means two sides. Okay, it could be both sides are presented equally or that one side is presented more forcefully than the, the other. Okay, now it all depends on the writer. Okay, and the side he supports the most. Okay, now when you want to write an argumentative essay, there is a specific structure that you have to follow. So my question is, what is the structure of an argumentative essay? Okay. Now, I reformulate it. What are the different paragraphs? Okay, the different parts of an argumentative essay. Okay, Aisha. Yes. Mm -hmm. How many paragraphs should we have? Yes. Good. Yes. Anna. How many paragraphs? Excellent. Okay. Fatu. Yes. Wonderful. Okay. So when you want to write an argumentative essay. Usually, it is composed of at least four or five para paragraphs. It requires an introductory paragraph, at least three body paragraphs, and a concluding para paragraph. Okay? So, I repeat, an introduction, a body, and concluding, a conclu conclusion. Okay. Now, let's try to uh, see what the introduction is composed of. Okay? In the first, uh, generally, the introduction is the first paragraph, okay? Of course. Now, in the introduction, what are you going to write about? So, the introduction, yes. Yes, Aita. Yes. Anna. Yes. Ibu. Uh-huh. Excellent. Good. Wonderful. So, the introduction is generally the first paragraph, okay? It is where you draw the reader's attention. You get the reader's attention, okay? And where you express your opinion, okay? Now, the given opinion here is the thesis statement, okay? So I just want to precise something. Generally, in the introduction, you have, in the introduction, you have, most of the time, to give, you start with the general information, and from the general information, you, choose, you move to the thesis state statement okay and this thesis statement is very important okay when you write an introduction why because do you know why the thesis statement is important can you try yes Aisha uh-huh yes you have well tried yes Anna good so the thesis statement is very important because it gives the writer's opinion it is where the writer gives his opi opinion okay he or she gives his opinion. And in this thesis statement, it also announces the plan that you are going to follow, follow in the body para paragraphs. Okay? So it is a sentence that should be very clear and specific. Okay? Just to tell you that when you intro write your introduction, you move from a general information to something more specific with the thesis sta statement. Okay? Now, after writing your thesis statement, now you move to, mm -hmm, Aida, yes, you move to the, which paragraph are you going to move to? Uh -huh, wonderful. You are going to move to the body paragraph, okay? The body paragraph is the first paragraph of your body, okay? So in this paragraph also, in this paragraph, you have to introduce the first reason why your view, meaning your opinion is valid, okay? And you have to support this paragraph with examples. Uh -huh. And what else? With uh -huh. Aisha, yes. Yes, good, excellent, wonderful. Good job, well done. 
okay you have to support it with examples with facts and details okay so the body paragraph the first body paragraph represents the first argument of the the writer okay so just to precise you also here when you write the body paragraph you have to start your paragraph with a topic sentence and all the rest of the sentence are called supporting sentences that's why here you have to support your idea with examples with facts and details to be more convincing so it is the first idea of the writer okay now we move to the next paragraph which is the second body para paragraph so here also this second body paragraph what does it introduce mm -hmm. ali yes what does it introduce does it introduce the another idea yes good you're right it introduces another idea meeting the second reason why your opinion is is valid okay and you have to support it with also examples details and and facts okay so whenever you express an, an idea you have to to support this idea giving examples giving facts or giving the details okay now let's move on to the next paragraph which is the third paragraph of the body okay so in this first paragraph generally you express a counter argument what is a counter argument hmm? counter argument okay now can you tell me do you know what is a counter argument yes it is yes Aida yes uh -huh. good yes Aisha uh -huh. good a counter argument is another argument it is an argument that refute the earlier arguments and give way to the real position okay this counter argument is an argument that contrasts the the writer's position okay it is an argument against the writer's posi position okay that contrasts it come here to bring some balance between the ideas the writer's position and uh, uh, and you okay now the next step you have to move to is the conclu conclusion yes so in the conclusion what do you have to do mm -hmm. ali yes mm -hmm. yes uh -huh. Aisha, uh -huh. Fatu, yes, good. In the conclusion, you have to, it is the last paragraph, again, of your essay, okay? The conclusion is the last paragraph, and in this conclusion, you have to restate the thesis statement differently, okay? You do not have to write, again, the same sentence, but you restate your thesis statement, which, where do you have the thesis, thesis statement? It was at the, at the beginning in the introduction, introduction so you have to restate it differently and it summarizes the main idea of the of the argument good okay and it also contains a strong concluding concluding state statement so it is a kind of summary of the all the arguments that you develop in your body para paragraphs good okay now let's move on to the next step now just some tips about how to right because when you write there are different phases that you have to follow okay now there is a what we call a pre-writing phase okay pre-writing hmm? what does it mean pre okay pre-writing meaning that before you you write okay good now before writing your essay you need to gather information okay you gather information to support your your opinion okay you make sure that the examples you collect match your stated point of view, meaning the examples you collect can support, can help you give reasons why you have this point of view. So while uh, brainstorming and looking for arguments, try to answer these questions to get more I ideas. So all these you have to do it in the, before you write your essay. So first question, can you read the question? Ibu, yes, mm -hmm. good. So what question should I answer in this assignment, okay? Meaning, what question should I have to answer, okay? In the task that is given to, to me, okay? Now, the next, the next question, who's going to read the next question? Okay, good. What things does my audience want to know? Okay, this is the next question I ask you, uh, you have to ask yourself. What things does my audience want to know? 
the audience are your readers okay the person who's going to read your your your, your production okay now the next question who's going to read the next question okay Mohammed yes what main point should be conveyed in my essay okay the main points meaning the the strong points okay that I have to put in my in my essay writing okay okay next question yes I shall read it okay are any of the points inconsistent or contradictory okay so meaning that when you brainstorm okay just to remind you that brainstorming is that you just just jot down your or write down not your all your your ideas okay for example if you are asked to write advantages disadvantages you write in one part advantages in the other part you have to write the disadvantages so are any of the points inconsistent or contradictory so you have to choose okay now the next question is can i improve any of my arguments so after brainstorming your ideas you check which are good or which are not and now you try to improve those arguments that you are going to use in your in your writing okay now <coughs> there this is organizing okay you have to organize your ideas because when you write if you if you don't organize your ideas you just write at random and when you write it is for a specific topic good now so I want to read mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Aisha yes good okay now organize your ideas and decide which ones are good to be mentioned at the beginning okay at the beginning of your writing in the main part of your writing and at the end of your of your essay good okay so this is the way you organize your your writing what i have to do in the at the beginning what ideas i'm going to put at the at the, at, at the middle in the body and what ideas i'm going to put in the at the end of my and my essay good now the next step we have this pre-writing phase now we move to the while writing phase okay so while writing okay you have to use some points okay while writing you have to pay attention okay listen to me okay you have to pay attention when you write okay you have to pay attention to the tense very important okay the tense you are going to use okay normally you should use yes present tenses in this type of of essay okay you have to use present tenses and here i need to precise when i say present tenses i'm not referring only to the present simple okay present tenses you can use present continuous present perfect etc all these are present tenses present simple present continuous present perfect simple present perfect continuous okay you have to pay attention to the tense and also to pay attention to the linking words linking words are very useful in writing okay because they make your writing coherent it help you to make coherent ideas okay to arrange your uh, ideas in a coherent way so you can uh, use different expressions okay okay which expression can i use for example to open when i want to open my my at the beginning in, in your introduction for example mm -hmm. can you give me some examples yes when i want to open i can use for example many people claim that nowadays it is often said that okay or if you want to introduce your ideas as you have different ideas if i have three ideas for example i can say firstly okay then i introduce my first idea to start with i start I, I introduce my first idea secondly i continue with my second idea thirdly etc you see and here your reader will know that there is a certain organization in your in your idea okay now when you want to intro give reasons for example you have also some expressions or connectors that you can use one reason for since due to that's why so these are connectors or link words that used to express reasons or to give re reasons okay because when you give your opinion you have to express give the reason why you choose this opinion okay now expressing opinion when you want to express your opinion you have to my mind i think that i'm convinced that 
many people believe believe that okay giving examples also you have for example for instance etc okay now coming to the conclusion okay you also have some expressions that you can use to to conclude for example to sum up in conclusion all the things considered in a nutshell okay you can have various other uh, connectors or linking word that you can use to to make your your writing or to better organize your idea and make your writing co coherent good okay now let's move to the next step good uh, we're going to practice now. Do you like practicing? Good. Okay. So, now, look at this topic, which is a topic about an argumentative essay, of course. Okay. Now, who's going to read my topic? Yes, Mohammed. Go on. Uh -huh. Online communication is preferable to face-to-face -face communication. Do you agree or disagree with this statement? Okay. With clear examples, state your view by using the guidelines given below. Okay. Now, when you say online communication, what does it make you think of? Online communication. Online. Okay. It refers to new technology, of course. Okay, Abdul. Yes. Can you give me examples of online communication you use? That what, what are we using now? Okay? Yes. You can use video calls. Yes. You can use messaging. Good. Aida. Yes. You can use internet. Yes. You can use your cell phones. You can use, yes. Aisha. Computers. Good. Excellent. Well done. Okay. So you, online communication is preferable to face to face. Face to face. What does it mean? Face to face communication. Face to face. My face to your face. Okay, tell me. Okay. Yes, Abdul. Uh -huh. Face to face. It is the kind of communication you have at home when you are with your parents or your sisters or your brothers in your living, living room. Okay. So here the, the statement is online communication is preferable to face to face communication. Do you agree or you disagree? Okay. So if you agree, you say. Yes, I agree, and you give the reason why. And if you disagree, you say that you disagree, and you give your the reason with examples. And don't forget to use the the tips I gave you earlier. Okay, so you have here to st state your views by using the guidelines which was given below. Okay, good. Now I'm going to show you the guidelines. Okay, these are the guidelines you have nowadays. Firstly, moreover, on the one hand, on the other hand, also to sum, to sum up. So, you remember? You remember what I said about the connectors and the linking words? So, what are these? Uh -huh. Abdul, can you remind us? So, these are some linking, yes, Aisha, some linking words, okay, that we use to make our, our essay, yes. Coherent. Good. So, this is your homework now, class. Uh, you, are, you are going to write an essay about the topic I gave you earlier. Okay? Online communication. Take your pens. Online communication is preferable to... to I'm going to come back to that. Yes, online communication is preferable to face-to-face -to -face communication. Have you taken notes? Yes, take notes. Okay? This is the topic. And this is, these are the guide guidelines. So you are going to use these guidelines and the tips I gave you for, uh, earlier to write an essay about online communication. Is it preferable to face-to-face -face communication? And you have to follow the different steps of that you have to write. An introduction, a body paragraph, and a, and a conclu conclusion. Okay? So thank you, dear students. Okay, I, uh, this is, and when you finish uh, writing, okay, maybe uh, next time, insha inshallah, we're going to share, okay, and if you have some questions, please send your questions through the forum. So, thank you for your attention, and uh, I wish to everybody a good Ramadan, and I say Ramadan Mubarak, and I 
hope that uh, I just say God bless you, God bless all the people of the world and get, make us, get rid of this virus so that we can go back to our classes. Okay, thank you very much. Hello dear learners, dear parents. Welcome again on Canal Education with the home learning program Apprendre à la Maison offered to you by the Ministry of Education. You know this program has been uh, brought by the Ministry of Education within the framework of the COVID-19. My name's Amina Tanjai. I'm the technical advisor for ELT at the Ministry of Education. Today, we have two guests. On my right, Dr. Mawasam, a teacher trainer from CRFP Eurifisk. Hello, Mr. Sam. Hello, Aminata. How are you to doing today? I'm good. Thank I, you very much. On I my left, you. you have Mr. Tambangom, who's the National Pedagogy Coordinator at the Ministry of Education. Hello, Mr. Ngom. Hello, Aminata. Thanks for coming. It's my pleasure. All right. We've just watched a lesson delivered by one of our colleagues on how to write an argumentative essay. Now, we are going to welcome some questions and our two colleagues here are going to bring their contributions in answering the questions. Can we welcome the first question? Hi, I'm Amina Tafal from Dakar. Can you tell me more about argumentative writing? Okay, thank you, dear student. If I may repeat the question to you, can you tell me more about argumentative writing? Can I give you the floor, Mr. Sam? My pleasure, Aminata. So I think that it's uh, good to elicit that writing is among the four skills. And the writing component, we have it in all our national exams. That's why it's a key today to lay a special focus on writing. Now, and when we talk about writing here, I think the teacher gave an awesome lesson on argumentative essay. So what's an argumentative essay? So it is a genre of writing that requires the student to investigate the topic, to collect, generate, and evaluate evidence to establish a position on the topic in a concise way. And what does it involve too? It presents arguments about both sides of an issue. Because I think the teacher gave a topic about communication. Is it face-to-face -face or online? What should we favor? So I think and in that, when the student has to write the argumentative essay, to bear in mind that you have the introduction, the introductory paragraph, which is important, which is a kind of grabber, because it attracts the attention of the reader. And from there, we have what we call the body paragraphs, which are supporting examples that the writer will give to elaborate on the view he or she is giving to the people reading him or her. And then we move then from there to the conclusion, which rephrase the statement and give the major points and conclude all the concluding remarks will be given at this stage. And I think it, globally this is what I can say so far about uh, argumentative essay. Thank you very much, Dr. Sam, for this uh, interesting contribution. Can we hear from you, Mr. Ngom? Yeah, to, 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 yes, to be honest, I think uh, I, I, I cannot agree more. Mm -hmm. So I definitely share his, his viewpoint of as far as argumentative writing is concerned. So it is well done. OK, thank you very much then for these clear cut answers. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, another question? Hi, I'm Josephine Jeju. How important is it to use linking words in my writing? Okay, if I may repeat and give the floor to Mr. Tambango. How important is it to use linking words in my writing? 
Uh, thank you very much, Aminata, and thank you uh, to the, the student who asked the question. Uh, yeah, I would, I would just say that the linking words are very important in our writing and even in speaking because uh, they, they help the readers or the listeners, depending, uh, to form a kind of relationship mm -hmm. between the ideas. Mm -hmm. And they can be words, mm -hmm. they can also be phrases. Mm -hmm. uh, and the examples I'm going to give is like uh, lectures, uh, even bridges, like this. And you, you imagine, for instance, a, a world without bridges. Mm -hmm. Or you imagine uh, your shoes without laces. Mm -hmm. You imagine also um, a body without, you know, ligaments, for instance. If you do not have ligaments in the body that connects the bones, what would happen to the body? And if you, you imagine also um, the, this relationship between the ideas, this relationship between the bones and, and stuff, uh, bring everything together to make it one. And today, uh, if, we, if we take into consideration the, the COVID-19, people would like to get together. And we need something that gets them together if we want to fight against COVID-19. Okay, uh, this was just a metaphor. Just to show you that it is very important in your writing to, to use the linkers or the linking words as you, as you call them. Because if you do not do it, you mm -hmm. cannot have a well-structured text. Mm -hmm. You cannot have well-structured, well-linked uh, ideas. Mm -hmm. And if you do not have this, the text may not be well understood. Mm -hmm. And even if it is well understood, uh, mm -hmm. people won't feel pleasure in mm -hmm. reading you. Mm -hmm. So it is very important while reading, uh, writing uh, mm -hmm. an essay to use the linkers or linking words. Mm -hmm. They are very important in, in what we're doing in terms of writing. Thank you very much for the interesting answers. Uh, Dr. Sam, do you have anything Well, to just maybe to supplement what he already said, mm -hmm. I could illustrate by telling a very short story. Mm -hmm. Yesterday, I went to Sandaga. Somebody came and took my purse. I was desperate. Mm -hmm. Then I didn't have money to go back home because mm -hmm. I didn't have any money. Mm -hmm. And you see, the discourse I gave, mm -hmm. it would be different. Yesterday, mm -hmm. I went to Sandaga Market mm -hmm. place. Mm -hmm. Then, mm -hmm. while I was visiting the market, mm -hmm. a pickpocket took my purse. So, I was unable to go back home. Mm -hmm. As a consequence, I had to borrow money from the trader. Mm -hmm. So, you see, and when we incorporate these link mm -hmm. words, they help elicit mm -hmm. the reader about whether you are giving addition, mm -hmm. is it a contrast, is mm -hmm. it a consequence, mm -hmm. and it makes our writing mm -hmm. more digest and more, you know, it makes it clearer. Mm -hmm. So what it means is that whenever our students have problems to write, we need maybe to give them okay. those linking words so that they know that they have the ideas, mm -hmm. but what is lacking sometimes, it is the way to organize them. Mm -hmm. So once they have them, it mm -hmm. gets much easier, mm -hmm. and on the lesson given by the teacher, it appears when she gave the guideline that whenever you give, have their, these guidelines, it gets much easier for them to give any piece of writing mm -hmm. so that they won't skip the writing, mm -hmm. which is very important mm -hmm. in the exams. All right. Sure. Thank you. May, may I give a comment on, on, on for instance, the, exam, uh, the sure. example he gave? Uh, if he hadn't put uh, the link words, mm -hmm you wouldn't have the opportunity to know where, uh, when and where the, the, the story started and mm -hmm. where it ended. Okay. So it shows, uh, you know, the, the pre, mm -hmm. the while, and the post. Mm -hmm. Okay, when it started, the way it happened, and when it happened, mm -hmm. and how it, en how it ended. Mm -hmm. it, is, it is just to say once again, mm -hmm. uh, and this I, I, I read it somewhere, they said, if there is no um, important link, mm -hmm. things would fall apart, exactly. right? Yeah. And, and, and other saying goes also, many hands make light work. Mm -hmm. So in, be it in writing or some, some, somewhere else, mm -hmm. those links are very, very important. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think this, this lesson, mm -hmm. he said it, 
was very, very fruitful in terms of guidelines, in terms of word links mm -hmm. the teacher gave. Mm -hmm. So it is really important. I mean, thank, you thank you very much, Mr. Ngom. In other words, uh, linking words bring the coherence and cohesion that is needed in any piece of writing. That's right. That's because I saw, as you said in the lesson, uh, different linking words used for different functions like opening, exemplifying, giving additional information, concluding, and uh, uh, so on and so forth. Yeah, definitely so yes. thank you very much thank you. for coming thank you. and for these nice contributions. Thank you. So dear learners, dear parents, so hoping to get you back next time on the coming lessons. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. Bye bye, Aminata. Thank bye. you for Thank having you. us. Thank you mm -hmm. for coming. Thank you, Mr. Ngom. Maybe just Once again. this reminder. Yeah. Ah, thank you, sure. Aminata. Thank you. Never forget. Very important <laughs> reminder. Are you all set now? Yep. Yes, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for inviting us.